All right guys, good morning. So today I'm doing a get ready with my sister. Her name is Linda. I'm so excited that she decided to come over and do a get ready with me. She's kind of nervous. She doesn't know what a lot of the makeup items actually do. So it's gonna be kind of like a get ready with me and we're gonna talk her through some of the stuff, the way I use it, not that I use it properly, but to show her, you know, a better way of maybe how it might work for her a little bit more. So, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Linda. I'm Sabrina's sister. <laughs> She's so nervous. She'll get over it. So, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette today, and she's going to be using the Makeup Geek Manny palette. This is the first time she's used this palette, so she's pretty excited about it. And she's also going to be using the um, new Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydro Tint Foundation today. I just did a review on it. I will put a card up above so you can see the review. But I told her that this would be a really good foundation for her because she has really dry skin. So I think that that will work out for her really well. I'm just going to be using a CoverGirl foundation that I have. Alright, so let's go ahead and get ready. So we're just going to go ahead and chit chat, get ready the way I did my last get ready with me and see how that goes. Alright, so we've already got primers on and everything like that. So just so you know, we're not like going in barefaced or anything like that. Primers and everything are already on. So today, she really wanted to try out this Bye Bye Under Eye Luminous um, Concealer. And I have the regular one so we're just gonna go ahead and put this on today so what I told her is is that you just have to use the tiniest bit just like that that will get all of your eyes both of them both of them really yeah this is a really concentrated concentrated like that? yeah that's a lot that's, Ooh. <laughs> you're, you're fine you can't put it back in the bottle <laughs> Um, it's a really concentrated um, concealer and so the way I like to use this concealer is I like to put it on before I put my foundation on because it's so thick okay the foundation kind of for me just smooths it out a little bit you'll see that what I'm talking about so okay. what you want to do is you want to warm it up in your two fingers because you're going to use your two fingers and just so you guys know our hands are clean we're not going in dirty hands either <laughs> And um, what you want to do is just tap it in the areas where you feel like you need coverage and you'll see how concentrated it is. Oh my gosh. Right? You don't need very much of it. It's a, it's a very thick, yeah, it's a very thick. I think I got weight. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. Just put it in any areas in your face that you might want to. Uh, can, you, can you put it on your eyes? Yeah, okay. right up to the, to the edge there is what I do. And just put it right in your face where you want any, you know, light to come or if you want to do any kind of covering or anything like that. It's a really thick but really nice coverage I think what do you it think is really thick. yeah it's definitely thick it's just, I think a lot of people don't like it because when I, they get it they use way too much yeah I think I should have got like a little I should have listened to you <laughs> and you can always take your beauty blender after you've done I and just kind of smooth it out yeah just smooth it out but this is why I put it on before I do my foundation because it's just really thick and sometimes you can overdo it on top of your foundation so yeah <laughs> You're good. Just realize, like the with the heat of your fingers, it will um, it melt more. Yeah, it will. It will melt more with like your body heat and stuff like that. So I feel like a goofball. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine. You're doing a good job. <laughs> it's very, yeah, very thick. Yeah, that's why I said when, I, when she said a little bit use a little bit. Yeah, and that's why I said, you know, when I got this, I was like, I have two of them now, and there's you don't need that much. I mean, yeah. they sell it in like a I think a one ounce Seems container. Like dry right away. Yeah. They sell it in like a one ounce container, so I mean a one ounce container would last you for years, right? I, I don't, yeah, you yeah, don't, I don't need, need very much of it. Oh you really gosh. don't. Look at how... Yeah, it, but it'll look good because once you put your foundation on top of it, then it'll kind of color correct it, okay. so it'll look really, really nice. Okay. So don't worry about it. So th that's a luminous one, and then this is just the regular one. I prefer the regular one for myself. I have tried the luminous one, and I just don't like I just don't like the way it looks on my skin. But I'm sure there are plenty of people out there that, that really love do. it. Yeah. What do you think about it? Um, <laughs> uh, it's really yeah. Uh, it's kind of like whoa. It's like yeah, there. It's, it's in your face, right? Yeah. But. Once you get your foundation on, you'll like it, I think. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm going to go in with my foundation. You just go ahead and tell us what you're using and what you're doing. I'm going to be using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint. Make sure you shake it up. <laughs> and I am just going to go in with the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-1. Like I actually just purchased this. This is a new one for me, and I did I, I did already do a review on it, and I do. I like it. Mm -hmm. I really do like it. So um, somebody off of Instagram actually um, suggested that I try it out, oh. and so um, I like it. I like it a lot. Nice. You don't need a lot of it. It's um, more of a full coverage foundation for me. Oh, this is, just so, put on with this? Yep, just put on with that. Um, it's more of a full coverage foundation for me, and if you put too much of this one on, it will get pretty cakey. So um, this one doesn't need a lot. And actually, that one pump that I just did, it's probably plenty for my face. 
I, so. I can't do full coverage because my skin is dry and it just makes me feel like I have like so much stuff on my skin it's making it drier. Right, right. <laughs> and that, I think that that foundation will work really well for you. Actually, um, it does seem like really nice. Yeah, it's really hydrating. It really is. And that, I mean, hence the word Hydro Boost. It really yeah. is. So I think that you'll you'll see that you'll like that a lot. And um, because of the hydrating, hydrating effect in it. it. I was really surprised that I liked it because I have oily skin, yeah. you know that. And it didn't really, you know, bother me throughout the day. Like some foundations with my oily skin will make me feel like really uncomfortable and stuff. Uh -huh. But that didn't, but it did fade away in Ooh, some spots. Let's see, now it's finally blending Yeah, in. yeah, do you see what I mean? Yeah. About putting it under your makeup. <laughs> I really haven't thought like, oh my God. Yeah, about putting it under your makeup better than putting it on top because I think on top, it, because of it's being so thick and full coverage that it just, it's too much. But blending in a way that way is better. So. Do you think I put enough? Put more if you need to. I'm asking what you think. <laughs> but I don't know. How much do you like? I don't know. I like a full. I like a more of a full coverage. You're, so yeah, I do. Like yeah, I use a lot. I use the full coverage at my daughter's house. Desiree's. Right. What did she have? And she one of the ones that you gave her. I don't remember what it was. I've given her so much makeup. And uh, yeah. yeah, and so I tried it, and I liked the look because honestly, like you don't see any flaws, but I just felt like my skin was just so. Cover, cover. yeah, <laughs> and that's what I like about this Hydro Boost. I think because even though I'm gonna put a little bit more, I want a little bit more coverage. Even though um, I really like this, honestly. Yeah, it's pretty, right? Mm -hmm. Even though it's I'm um, drying a second my nose. I don't know what to do to get it all. I've used every hydrating freaking oil I like. Do you um, mind? You moisturize really well, don't you? I do, and I do uh, face scrubs. And I know that you drink like plenty of water yes. and all that stuff. I don't know, it's just probably just your skin, it's you just, know? I think it's my thyroid. Actually. Yeah, and it could be. Yeah, it could be. You just stay dry. <laughs> I really do like that, actually. Right? Isn't it pretty? I thought yeah. that you would like that. I really did. So usually, um, I just recently got this um, Mario, what does it say? Mario? Mario Badescu? Badescu. I'm so bad with like words and stuff. <laughs> um, but I recently got this. So after I put my foundation on, I've been spraying my face oh, okay. with this. And then I'll go in with everything else. I mean, I like kind of spray my face over and over again with this. Mm -hmm. Just to like Stay add hydrated. some hydrate, okay. yeah, hydration to my face. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to do the same. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to do the same. I really like that. I really, I just got like it's a whole, so, it smells so pretty. I just really put it in. It's like sweet. Right. <laughs> I don't need it. <laughs> Have you noticed? <laughs> yeah. I just got like a whole face um, line of this stuff and I really oh, like it. I nice. really like it. So I'm really um, excited that I picked that up. All right. So now I'm just going to go ahead and just pop that in there just because that's what I do. And you can see I have like a lighter coverage going on, even though this is a more of a full coverage. And you've, yours looks really pretty. It looks really luminous on you. So. It does. I yeah. like it. I like what that looks on you. It really so covers the redness. That I'm going to go too. in with a concealer. Do you want to use a lighter weight concealer? Um, yeah. Cause... Okay, so I'll give you the Too Faced um, um, Coconut one. Where is that at? Here. Carmen comes in here and just like moves everything <laughs> around. So this one might be really good oh, for you. Okay. Just go ahead and shake that up and use that. Because you like, you like something that's going to yeah, be really luminous like and it. stuff. And I feel like that's a really good one for you. And I'm just going to go lightly in with my Tarte one. Now, Tarte is a more full coverage. I have seen coverage. a lot of people use that one. Do you want to use the Tarte? Them? I don't know. I've seen a lot of people use them. And yeah. it must be like the, the favorite. It is. Everybody it uses is. It is. Because it's a full coverage, yeah. you know, on all day. And because I have such oily skin, this stuff does not budge on me. And really? so, yeah, it really does. But I think because you have dry skin, that the yeah. that Too Faced one will be really nice for you. And that's the Born This Way. I swear you and I are complete opposite. You have curly hair, straight hair. I know. We well, both have are. dry skin. We are definitely <laughs> opposite. So I'm using the medium and you're using the medium uh, the light to medium okay I'm so check yeah how you do it so, so i'm just kind of top of you. well because <laughs> this is more full coverage i'm not going to use as much so what um i i would do for you is i don't, I don't i'm just going to dot it on okay but you put as much as you need well let's we'll see how you're going to do so it. i'm just going to dot it here and then in like a little triangle kind of in a way and then here on my you know my chin and then i'm going to put a little bit on just on my nose yeah but this is just, um, this is so full coverage that if you put too much, just kind of like that, it, um, it bye bye under eye stuff, it, it, it will get too, to be too much. So you don't need a very much a lot of this. And so you just put it wherever you feel like you need it. Okay. Then I'm going to take my blender here and just blend it out. And so you just, I mean, you've been wearing makeup for a while. Yes, but doing it next to you. <laughs> I want to make sure I'm doing it right. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing it right. I, wow. just do it. I honestly just do makeup the way I feel like it looks good on me. I mean, I'm sure there are 
better ways of doing things but i don't really you know i just follow what i feel comfortable with you know yeah i think that like we watch so many people put makeup on and we feel like oh god i'm not doing it right or i'm not you know i'm not yeah. as good as him but it's really just your how you feel about what you're doing you know what i mean that's yeah. just how i see it mm -hmm. i may do something completely different and crazy off the wall and somebody might comment and be like that's not right but you know it's kind of it's right for me yeah yeah you know what kind of like gets like i feel like it's off is how people do their eyeshadow first and then do their face makeup. Yeah. I can't do that. I feel like I'm doing it backwards. Right, right, right. And you just come in, you know, you just get used to doing certain things a certain way. A lot of people do that because of the fallout in the eyeshadow. Yes, shadows. but I just feel like I'm doing things wrong, right. so I can't do that. Yeah, I, I have, never did it. I've tried it a couple of times that way, and you're right. I just, I follow a certain way of doing yeah, things. Yeah, and then you're just like, okay, this is wrong. Yeah, but <laughs> that's not going to work for me too well. So it's just like a light, but, you know, it just adds a little bit of brightness to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. I feel like I'm just so bright. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, that's what that's that's what the pro, the point is. So I'm gonna take some of the Cody Airspun and then set my stuff. Um, it's really up to you if you want to set your powder I with do. powder because you know you you. I do because. You know. And I have a whole bunch of different ones, so you can use Cody Airspun, which is one that that's I use. That's one that you love, so I'm gonna try. Yeah. That so one basically, I just take my sponge and I just press it right in the powder. Get a bunch of it on there. This is gonna make a mess. So, oh <laughs> So don't, don't feel bad, but it's a damp sponge that we're taking this in there because I'm going to bake a little bit. Mm -hmm. And so what I'm going to do is just kind of press and roll in the areas that I want to, you know, be highlighted throughout the day and that I know where I'm going to get oily on. So, because this will really just set my makeup. And do you bake very often or? Yes, because of the fine lines. Oh, right. Okay. It kind of really helps me not get those fine lines. Really? See, a lot of people say they don't bake because of the fine lines. No, it so actually you, helps me not to be so, because I'm like self-conscious self about it. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's good to know. So it really just depends on the person mm -hmm. and how, you know, their fine lines are and stuff like that. 41 years old. Maybe. Yeah, I know. I know. I know what you mean. It just, it, sometimes I look in the mirror and I'm just like, wow. Right. <laughs> really? <laughs> this is what's going to happen today. <laughs> but you know what I mean? I'm just like, come on. The gods of skin, can you really can you help please it? just like let me stay younger for a few more years? Come on, guys. And so I'm just gonna let that bake for a minute, and then um, I'm gonna while it's baking, I go ahead and just go on with my um, conceal, my contour stuff. Okay. I start with my powder stuff, and then I just leave this there, and then at the end I'll just wipe it away, like everything like That's that. That's what I do. I just kind of blend it all in. Yeah. Time, so. so I'm going to use uh, the uh, Too Faced. I need to get the, the full package of this because I really do like this. Use a lot. I do. I use it a lot, and I just take one of these little brushes here and there's another one in there if you want okay. to try it yeah they're all clean and ready to go so I just roll it in there tap it off and then I just go right in and start you know carving my face the way I want to so however you want to and I like the way I think the reason why I like this Too Faced one so much is because it smells like chocolate and in the morning it's it just does. something to you know wake me up a little bit with my coffee and stuff but it's a really subtle one, so I mean, you can probably build it really good if you wanted to, but I don't really build it that much. I mean, sometimes I go pretty... I mean, I think like at night time, if you're going to do like a darker look, that'd probably be like do more, but I think right. in the day you just want it to, to be enhance and highlight subtle. those things. Yeah, just a subtle look. And so recently I did get this um, Royal and Lang Nickel. Thank you, Royal and Lang Nickel um, brush in my Ipsy bag, and I didn't really like it. Desiree has that brand of, yeah. of uh, brush, and she has the whole thing, and right. they're really nice. No, the brush itself is really nice. Don't get me wrong. I like the brush. I didn't like the brush for what it's supposed to be used for, which is a shader brush, an oh, angled okay. shader brush, but I did find to contour my nose with this brush. Yes. Yes. So I tried it out just the other day to contour my, my nose, and I was like, this is awesome. This really? is awesome for that because the brushes are so thick mm -hmm. um, and like compacted that it does really just give you that really nice contour. Have you um, tried that? Have you got any of the actual Ipsy brushes in your bags? Uh, no, I Do I have the two little stones? No, I, I got two of them so far, and they just sent me a blending one for eyeshadow, and it is really nice. You, did you? Uh, that I have one? two. Is that now. the one you got? Yes. The one? Oh, yes. I'm so lucky. Another ah. girl I was talking to yesterday. Um, her name is uh, Catherine, and we we're talking about it, and she was telling me how you know. We're talking about it, and I was just like, I'm so jealous that you always get really cool stuff in your Ipsy uh -huh. bag. I love watching people's Ipsy. Yeah. I mean, that's something that I mean, and even though I make videos, I watch videos like all day long. 
Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm not just like, oh, I'm just gonna make my videos and then and look at everybody else. Yeah. I go and look at everybody's videos to see what they got and see how they do their makeup because you can never stop learning. No, you at know. All. Uh -huh. And so, but she gets, she got, she got the brush too, and I was like, God darn it! Yeah, I wanted that brush. I'm gonna actually uh, bring those to you, and you can try them. Well, and then you can probably maybe do a review or something on them. Like really them. nice. I got two so far. A blending one for eyeshadow, and then the other one is kind of. Kind of bigger, bigger know, like a would you use like a setting one? brush or something. Probably, yeah. yeah. And they have like the two little stones in them, so they're Ooh, really that's cute. cute. I love brushes. I uh -huh. have so many of them. I just, I mean, whenever I go to the store, I literally just pick up new brushes because I'm just like, oh, that might work. Well, I put that uh, down on my when they do your little. Do you want brushes? I did too. Yeah. yeah, I did too. So you see how them to me, so that's good. See how well this actually contoured my nose. It does. It, it does a good job. So this is my new nose contour brush. I don't really ever contour my nose. But you have a small much, nose. So you have a smaller nose than I do. I kind of feel like when I contour my nose, it's kind of like hmm, nose. It breaks it out. <laughs> <laughs> and see, I have kind of like a. a I, anyways, in my opinion, my, my nose is kind of flatter, and I don't like that. Like I don't know. I'm weird. I think everybody just has their own little weird things about. Their, <laughs> yes, absolutely. Because when I look, I'm like, I don't see that. But yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm weird. I'm weird. No, but I have my little weird things too. Like. I think everybody has something that, they're that, just that they just like, don't like about themselves. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Like me, I wish I had like Desiree's eyelashes. Like, oh my god. Carlos's eyelashes? eyelashes? Have you seen Carlos's eyelashes? I don't understand why guys have these long eyelashes. Like they don't even need them. So annoying. <laughs> I don't even care. So annoying. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go into blush and I'm gonna use Spellbound by Makeup Geek. And I'm just gonna take my blush brush and go in there. And this is just the way I kind of do my makeup every single day. And so I go with my blush. And this is a matte blush so I like to use this one like for work and stuff like that because it's not like mm -hmm. in your face blush you mm -hmm. know what I mean but I do have a whole bunch of it's pretty it's pale. it's really yeah it's like a pale pinky color and mm -hmm. you can you know you can build up and use these blushes if you want to but I do like the makeup geek blushes that they have do you do my blush for me because I don't really know yeah. what, where which one do you want to use the one that you just did. the spell bound mm -hmm. okay so just um there you go so you want to start here at the apples of your cheeks and then just kind of bring it up into your hairline there. Oh, okay. So really, really simple. You know, it's just just to like highlight your your face there. And you always want to like blend it right into your contour, so it does not like these lines. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That are just kind of separating out. You just want them to be like kind of like a uniform line of stuff. Mm -hmm. And then of course you're gonna blend it all out there anyways so all right and then I go into my um, highlight but I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do my brows first yeah I think I'm gonna do mine too so I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm using the dark brown and I also just picked up the medium brown in the powdered and I use them both kind of okay. in you know okay. in unison I first start off with my Anastasia gel to kind of set my eyes and then I just go in and fill it in and I'm sure that's not the proper way of doing things, but like I said earlier, but it makes them kind of like to your hair. Yeah, I just I do things that make things easier for me, mm -hmm. and not you know. But you do your face every day. Every day, work. I mean, yeah. like every day. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine wearing makeup every day; it would drive me crazy. I've been wearing makeup every single day since I was I know. young. You know, it's yeah. kind of like one of those things that if I don't have makeup on, and it's there's nothing wrong with not wearing makeup. There's, there's no, plenty no. of women out there and men that w don't wear makeup every single day and are fine with it. And I'm fine with it too. I'll go to the grocery store without makeup. Uh -huh. But it's just one of those things like if I don't put makeup on, it's like not putting on deodorant or brushing your teeth for me. I feel yeah. like I've missed something. I feel like if I put it on too much though, it dries my skin that much more. Right. So I like unless I'm really gonna go somewhere, I you're not going I, to. Like I just have my oils on my skin and just letting my skin breathe. And right, right, right. Because I just and feel I feel like the other way too much. I guess. Yeah. You know, I don't know. So I'm gonna just go in and do my eyebrows real quick. So how my sister is in the middle of taking classes for. I'm doing a science of alternative medicine. Yeah. So how's that going for you? I love it. I'm getting all A's right now. And I love, like, we did, I just did political science and I've never been into any kind of, like, any kind of, like, um, political, political stuff. anything. Right. And honestly, just in that class, for some reason, like, I'm interested now. Right. And I wasn't at all. Like, not even in the, in the slightest. You know what I mean? Right, right. And it's just so nice. And all my teachers are... Um, Doctors and alternative medicine, so everything that we learn, we're actually learning from people that are certified. Certified. I mean, they're doctors. Right. So, 
I love it. So what made you decide this is what I want to do as far as alternative medicine? Um, because I've always had really, 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 um, I don't do well with medicine. I um, even the smallest amount of medicine. Like when I had my surgery, like they gave me 800 milligrams of ibuprofen. I couldn't even take that. It was made me feel like I just had surgery. So I had to go like off. sick. Yeah, no, it just made me feel like it was Wizzy. too much for me. Really. And so I had mom call and see if I could take just regular Tylenol because I, was, I can't do this. Like I can't take this, you know. Right. And it was for pain and everything, but I just have the lowest tolerance to any kind of medication. And I was like, well, uh, let's learn something new. <laughs> so have you found some of the stuff that you've learned like shocking or um yes i really <laughs> i don't know i mean some of the stuff that we are given right should not be given. right <laughs> we should right. not be given you know what i mean and a lot of stuff that is allowed in our country is not allowed in other countries for a reason a bad for you. <laughs> right oh, so. right right i follow an instagrammer or a, a youtuber her name is jen loves reviews i'm sure everybody loves jen loves reviews if you haven't um, seen her channel go and look it up but anyways she goes into detail when she reviews a product she does such a great job and she goes as far as you know telling you what the good products are in it and what the bad products are in it and uh -huh. what you know like the Surgeon General and all that stuff says is good and bad and it, in our state and in our, in our country and in other countries as well so I always love to go and see what she has found out about certain products yeah I love that about her channel nice you know and, and, her, and what's, who she get? Jen loves reviews I'm gonna have to yeah she's she's awesome she's really okay. awesome I mean she um, really takes her channel to a whole another level that most where most of us just you know put on makeup and review it for you she exact she tells you exact what's in it what's, what's in the product what's good for you what's not good for you and why it isn't so it's really cool it's nice. a really cool channel I mean she has other stuff like she has a Facebook forum I know you don't have Facebook yeah but we all talk about like makeup and stuff on there it's a really really cool thing but um if you needed to like know what's good and what's bad in certain products and you know why it is mm -hmm. um, I would really check out her channel yeah I'm actually now in my second year of college I have one more year and I have my bachelor's and then I'm going back to my master's. So, so exciting, right? Yes. I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer. I'm going to start doing my eye my eyes now. I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. And you're going to go ahead and go in with the Mario one. Yes. Or the, um, sorry, not the Mario, but the um, Manny. Manny palette. That's from Naked Beak. Very nice shadows. What color are you going to go in with first? I'm going to go in with, do they have the numbers? Mm -hmm. um, Sora. Sora yeah. will be my... Um, uh, transition color. Yeah. And I'm going to go in with... I'm going to use oh, Parade. Wow, are really, really, really... Here, as a transition color. Yeah, they're pigmented. You don't oh, need... Oh, yeah. When I told you, you just, you know, just go in... You're used, you're used to using a lot of drugstore stuff. Mm -hmm. And so, not that drugstore shadows are bad, but they are not... Not as pigmented. pigmented. No. Uh -uh. So... You're used to like digging into your shadows, aren't you? Uh, more, yeah. Then yeah, keep like, yeah. <laughs> with any, yeah, with this one, you don't really need to do that. You'll get the color that you want right away. I mean, I've noticed lately that their formula is different. Oh, yeah, drugstore has gotten really, really nice. Yes. Really, really nice. Wet and Wild for one. Oh, Wet and Wild is really pretty. Yes, yeah, so cover girl, are, that yes, cover girl yes. palette that I gave you yes. is really, really pretty. I like that one. Um, Elf. Uh, Elf is really good too, yeah. Their uh, matte palette is really, really nice. And so, growing up, we grew up in California. And we, I think Watsonville was kind of a big city. I guess growing up where we grew up, I, I guess I didn't realize, you know, like the crime. Well, no, you don't. But then after like you move away and you yeah, realize, yeah. like because like we go to San Francisco and that's tourists too. Right. But, like they're getting a lot of crime and stuff now too. Are they there a lot more? Like the last time we were there, uh -huh. I heard sirens like twenty four seven. Did you? I'm like, oh, this is a little scary. <laughs> Was it? Because you're not well, used to it anymore. Yeah. Little, 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 tiny now they like, everybody knows each other. Yeah, so. and that's just true. I think that you become very like um, small towny ish. Yes, you, you get used to it. I really definitely would not want my kids to have grown up there because I can have, never find them here. Can you imagine right. there? Right. Yeah, <laughs> they absolutely. could just get on the bus and take off to the next town. Absolutely. <laughs> I do. I do know what you're talking about. I like other so. brushes that I use. There's a whole bunch. Of, I cleaned them all, so they're all clean and ready to go. So go ahead and use whatever you want to. Okay. Um, I'm going to go in next with, um, what am I going to do? Do you use the same brush? I switch between brushes. Well, I, I have like, like a smaller kind of one, maybe this these, one. Yeah, these makeup piece brushes are really nice too. These are really, really nice. Let me try that. Okay, to like blend. So I'm going to go in now with, <laughs> like you're so confused. Um, I think I'll go in with Frappe. Frappe, that's mm -hmm. a pretty color. That's Frappe. a really pretty color. And I'm going to go in with um, uh, Caramelized. Oh, 
Charmed, I'm sure, is what I'm going to go anyway. We'll see. Which is this one here. This oh, that's one. pretty. It's really pretty. I'm just going to put that in my outer V. And so, um... I'm doing this one on my crease. Okay. So, um, I do miss, like, having so many, like, really cool stores around us. And just, like, the weather. Because we live in Wyoming where it snows 24 well, it's 7 negative degree like, weather here. <laughs> yeah, I think it was, like, negative 2 degrees this morning. Wasn't do you it? know that last, like, two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, we were the coldest place on Earth for one hour? Yeah. Isn't that weird? Yeah, that is crazy. <laughs> That on Earth, the thing, not just, you know, but on Earth, <laughs> the coldest place. That's just insane. Huh. And anybody that's dealt with, like, snow and, and weather and stuff like that, it's just, it's a whole different, like, feeling, you know? I think Laramie's just really cold. I think it is, too. I think it's, I think it's cold and just windier yeah. than most places. I may be wrong, but I just feel like that, too. I'm going to go right into Delectable, which is this purple color here in the palette. Let's see if I can get So this now I am gonna go with Aphrodite. Oh, it's this really dark. Oh, it's pretty. Here. I'm gonna do that mm -hmm. one in my out, like the outer. So, um, what are your plans after you get your all your degrees? Are you? Going I to don't know if I'm gonna. Well, it depends on um, because I learn everything. I'm gonna be learning anything that has to do with alternative, which was massage therapy, um, aromatherapy, um. Anything that you know, like meditation that right. centers, um, more spiritual acupuncture, like yeah, more you know, like you know, that kind of thing. So, I could pretty much, um, depending on what part of like, Chinese medicine, I'm kind of going that's really interesting. I'm kind of going towards more of the Chinese medicine, right? And the reason for that is because you actually learn how to heal yourself, right? Instead of like medication, yeah, like and you really learn how to like use your body and your mind mm -hmm. to I'm gonna like, go in heal. with luscious. On my inner corner or in my middle of my eye there and so um have you started using any of that kind of stuff yet um i have been doing a lot of uh, my teachers sent us a link to um guided meditation so it's like a youtuber that does it mm -hmm. he's really super good and i've been doing them at night to sleep and seriously i'm out right and they really are good because right. you sh I'll send you a couple links to them, but they're right. really nice and I'll have you do them too because they are honestly help you to like get rid of all the daily stuff that goes in your mind because you know like when you lay down sometimes your mind is still going. Right. Yeah, and let me know so I can put it in the down bar or in the description bar. That way if anybody's interested in that guided meditation stuff, I'll put a link down to their YouTube channel. Okay. Since we're talking about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I'm sure a lot of people like that kind of stuff. Yes. I do. I have the worst time falling asleep as you know. I yeah, you just have yeah. I just don't go to sleep. Well, with this, I don't have a, like a problem. I'm seriously, I'll wake up and I'm like, I don't even remember if I'm going to sleep. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You've always had like sleeping. Bad, moments. bad, bad sleeping. And, and I guess I think it's, it's, it has to do with my thyroid. Yeah. Again. But the bad thing about um, the United States, they don't do the right test for, for your thyroid. thyroid so yeah. it never comes out that you have a bad thyroid. Right. But I have every single symptom. Everyone. Yeah. I'm going to go in with the pencil brush and I'm going to go right into the, um, uh, talk derby to me, which is a purple bottom kind of glittery one. Go right under my eyes with that. Yeah, it's just kind of like I think for us that live within the United States, you know, other countries have better ways of doing things when it comes to medication. Well, there are. Okay, I mean, and don't get me wrong, we live in a really great country, but you know, there's different ways of doing things, and because we're so just um, pharmaceutical. We're like, more into like, yeah. yeah, medicines and stuff, like not really, you know, there what's better for you. There isn't a lot of, you know, try to fix it yourself type of stuff with, you know, meditations and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, and the thing is, is that people does don't that seem to understand, yes, it does. But the thing that people don't seem to understand that, yes, okay, like that pain medicine is going to help you for the moment, but what is it going to do to you in the long run? Your life? liver and your kidneys. Yes, because and, it's yeah. very bad for that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, and it scares me. It scares me, especially with my kids taking. Oh, I like that. That's yeah. really pretty. I'm gonna go in with Luna on my lid. Oh, Luna's pretty. Okay, so I'm done with this here. I think this palette is such a nice palette for an everyday look and um, like a night look, which is kind of what I got going on right now. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty. You go, you went a lot lighter. You, this palette can the, the Manny palette can get really crazy. I dark. do dark like, looks all the time too, but I just. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a dark kind of person when I'm doing the film. I love doing dark eye eyeshadow. I mean, I make I know you do. 
And you like to watch a lot of dark eyeshadow looks. You always tell me, you gotta do a dark look. Gotta do a dark look. The reason why is because you have such pretty blue eyes. <laughs> when you do the darker looks, it's like, ooh, blue. It's out there. <laughs> you know I'm I mean? gonna go in with uh, um, L Lester uh, in a highlighter from Makeup Geek. You can use that as a highlighter today. Lester is a really, really pretty highlighter. And actually, Makeup Geek makes some really good just products all together, you know? Like their eyeshadows are really nice, is what you're using now. And look at this highlighter. Oh, nice. Will you right? do my highlight for me? Mm -hmm. Should I put this one or this one on my brow? Cool. Um, I would go with that one. Okay. You can mix them both together, too. Oh, yeah, I can forget. You can do that. <laughs> I see a lot of people. I'm going to go in with this and this. Yeah, I mix all the time just to get, you know, well, different looks. Yeah. yeah. So, see that highlight, guys? That's just, that's a pretty good highlight of Lester from Makeup Geek. I mean, Marlena makes some really good products all together, so I um, um, Makeup Geek. Yeah. I was going to tell you, too. Um, so, yeah, with what I'm going to school for, I have very, very, a lot of options. Right. I could also order, um, when I get my bachelor's, which is in another year and a half. Um, I'll be able to open my own business. Nice. At that point. Uh -huh. And all my teachers help, all of them help you, they know, with all that kind of stuff. Right. They've all done it. Right. And so you're not by yourself. So Which is really good. nice because that could be scary if you are by yourself. You oh, know? So there's that. Okay. Is so, that good? Yeah, it looks nice. Do my highlight for me? Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, um, you went really subtle and that's a good way to show people let's show people how your eyes but you're gonna put eyeliner and stuff on too, uh -huh. right? but that's a good way to show you like when you open up that makeup geek palette and yeah. you're like holy cow i'm never gonna be able to do any of this things mm -hmm. with this to show people you know you can go really light with that palette and it's still yeah i like really barely funny. tapped it like seriously and this is like it's still kind of dark you know do you want more highlight or is that good no it's pretty okay i have a little bit of yeah, just take a big fluffy brush and take it out. Yeah, those they're they're super pigmented, but they do they could be a little bit too crumbly in a way. Uh -huh. So, all right. So yeah, do you not put them. eyeshadow under your eyes? Oh, I forgot to do that. I do actually. Sorry. So there, <laughs> there's a pencil brush. Yep, there you go. Pencil brush is the best way to do it, and that's also a makeup geek brush too. She makes really good brushes. I mean, honestly, makeup geek, you can't go wrong. If you are new to makeup and are wanting to try new things, but are just kind of you, know, I don't know what to do. Makeup geek, 100 percent. I would strongly suggest it. So I'm gonna go in with the pencil liner. I just ordered a bunch of liners from um, Ulta. They had a sale going on. Ulta has a lot of sales all the time. Like you can buy one, get one free, buy one, get one half off. And so they had their, the Ulta brand eyeliners um, for sale. And these are the gel liners for sale where you got two, buy two, get one, or get two free. So uh -huh. basically you're, you bought two, you get two for free. You got a whole bunch of them. So I just wow. ordered like the whole bunch of them. And they were like, I can't remember, like maybe $8 a piece, I don't know. But I've been using this, um, I got a whole bunch of them, I've been using them and I really do like them. They do stay on my waterline like all day, which is what oh, I want. Good. And they don't really move, you know, once they set, they set really well. So I'm gonna go in with the color... Majesty? Majesty. And it's a purple color. It almost looks like the top derby color in the um, peach palette, the purple there. So I have a whole bunch of them if you wanna try it. Um, they're all brand new, so... They're eyeliner? Oh, they're just eyeliner. Um, do you have like a black one? Or uh, brown? Like a dark brown maybe? Do let's see here. There you go. There's a background. So, um, do you still have allergies? I don't. I don't. No. Um, yeah, just, mine kind of went away too. It's just so funny. My eye. And I don't know if you noticed that in some of my videos. My eye was like puffy and dry on one side. It was oh. like. Remember how when I was younger and I used to get like uh -huh. really puffy, like crazy eyes. Yeah. yeah, that was starting to happen. I was like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> really? Like, Forty years old and I'm like, yeah. Allergy attack. But yeah, it just went away after a while. So, huh. Remember when I used to get like the hives all over my skin? Yeah. And I used to get them so bad. And yeah. They kind of little, like, and now, like, in the last couple of years, I haven't had it. It's so issues. weird how, like, as you get older, certain things that happened to you when you were a kid come back. You know? It's, yes! It's, like, it's weird. You wake up one day and you have, like, pimples all over your face. And that's, um, that's what I'm dealing with now. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. You, you know, know? <laughs> I never used to break out, but I've gotten a couple breakouts right. in the last. Mm, the last couple months or so. Right, you're just like, like um, I, I had this issue as well. I'm, well. I'm 39, but I'm just like, really? I'm 39 years old. Shouldn't I be past like that whole hormonal thing? Right. But I think as you get older, your body like goes right back to that kind of stupidness. You know? <laughs> yes, it's stuff. So, yeah. Um, so I'm gonna put this in my upper and lower waterline, just so you guys know. These are really nice. Yeah, yeah right. Really good. Yeah, and so I got like buy two get one get two free. So I was just like, I'm just gonna get them all. I recently um, got my husband 
some face products from Ulta as well. They're from, how oh, I can't remember what it is, but really nice. He likes beard stuff, so. Oh, because yeah, his beard. So normally he makes his own beard type stuff with like, you know, oils and stuff like that. Because he's really- I expensive. heard that he is getting more into natural stuff and I love it. Yeah, he is. He is. <laughs> I told- I told Dustin, what do you think not of my si oh, That's pretty. Yeah. Oh my really god, it brings out eyes. Really the purple stout. brings yes. out the purple and the eyeshadow, yeah. So, um, I was telling Dustin, I was, Dustin's my boyfriend, by the way. I was telling him, I was like, here I'm trying to get my sister into natural stuff and it's my brother-in-law. <laughs> yeah, he really <laughs> is. He really stuff. is. Like, my husband, um, my husband, when he gets into something, he goes, he like, goes all out. All out. Like, it, to the point where you're just like, I'm over it. I'm over it. I don't want to do it no more because he like he takes things to an extreme where you're just like that's enough Like yeah. you're you've lost your mind and so yeah, he really has gotten I'm gonna take luster and put it in my inner corners to give me like a highlight mm -hmm. I did mine already. Did you notice? <laughs> With the light? Yeah, yeah So uh, luster in this palette is just can you see? It's oh insane. pretty. Yeah. It's a really really pretty color. I like that So and I'll wipe that a little bit away. Let me see the one. palette I was using. I'm gonna do a little darker <laughs> Now I feel a little like I should have done a little bit darker. Oh, you mean the makeup? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. I'm going to do the corners a little yeah. darker because I just feel like I didn't go in as much. I you were kind of afraid of the palette because you knew it had like a lot of pigment. <laughs> yeah, it was just kind of like trying to play it safe, but then I feel like I kind of like... And I never play it safe. I'm, I'm not just doing like, my normal. Yeah, your normal crazy dark, which is what... It's I'm, me. And this I, is the kind of stuff I wear to work, and I know this is like probably inappropriate for work wear, but I'm just like, I don't care. Everybody at work knows that I have a YouTube channel and that I wear makeup. Do they watch your channel? I don't know. Probably not. I mean, I work with a bunch of guys. They're probably just like, no. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to watch it. Well, I'll put your uh, your information <laughs> on my Snapchat so everybody that doesn't have you, they'll go. And, but my friend from San Francisco, uh, she watches you. Does she? And she's like, oh. Cause she didn't know anything about makeup really at first like she just and she's like i try to go and do her looks and she goes it's all i can do it's all i can but she watches you to learn that's awesome i looks. love that i love that you know and and for me too i tend to like watch certain youtubers because i like the way they do their looks and you learn yeah <laughs> and you learn like you know certain like tricks and tips from them yeah. and i just love that you know yeah so do you want to use an eyeliner? Yes. Which one do you want? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I have this one here, which is I'm using now. I have the Kat Von D. Have you tried the Trooper? Mm, no. Yeah, that's a really nice one. So that one, see how this one is like a felt pen? That one actually has bristles, but they're really, really like, oh, tight okay. in there. So it's a really nice eyeliner. Ooh, it's really smooth. Yeah, and dark. Very dark. Ooh, I like that. That's <laughs> like a go-to eyeliner for most people. They really like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I always... Uh your channel because I love watching your channel. <laughs> the moment I see a video, I'm like, oh, a new one. <laughs> <laughs> I get all excited. I hate waiting for your channel, your video. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> it's hard to do it, especially like having a full-time job and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Having a YouTube channel, even though I only post like maybe one or two videos a week, it's a lot. It's a hell of a lot because you, um, you have to come up with something to do uh -huh. and then you have to record it. And recording a video is not as easy as just sitting down and just recording, you know, especially if you need to put makeup on and if you've had a long day at work, blah, 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 you have to get ready for it. Mm -hmm. Then you have to sit down and record it and then you still have to take the time to edit it. And I have to edit because I say a lot of shit that I shouldn't say, like <laughs> shit, you know? <laughs> so, you know, and so I'm, and I have to get that out of there, yeah, you know? Yeah. So, it takes a minute and you know, especially like when you see like these higher, you know, what millions of views yeah. um, people I could imagine like yeah their editing is perfect like you see all the sparkles and you see blah 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 and I'm just like who has the time for that but they, well, the thing is, is the reason I think I get so excited about yours is because I watch literally you and three other makeup people right Ooh, you only watch three I'm gonna use some of this makeup geek um, Luna is it Luna mm -hmm. no 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 that one is Art, Art, Artemis? Artemis. Yeah, I'm gonna use Artemis. Yeah, cousin name. Momo's name was Artemis. Yeah, it was. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use it just um, in my. Um, but this one's gonna tell you. Um, Bravo. What were we talking about? Um, who you watch on YouTube? Oh, should I say? Yeah. <laughs> um, well, obviously I watch you. Yeah. And I watch Amy. You better watch me because I'm your sister, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> and I watch Amy. Even if you don't like my channel, <laughs> you, you better watch it. watch it. No, I love your channel. Um, Amy, I watch her. Right. 
And then I watch Jeffree Star, obviously. Uh, right, and right. Nikki Tortorio. Tortor. <laughs> oh, that's all you watch? Do yeah. you watch other things on, on YouTube? Oh, yeah, yeah. But those are the only makeup channels yeah. you watch. I do. So I, I feel pretty honored that you have me in, like, those people. <laughs> yeah, you really should watch Jen Lo's reviews. I, I'm, I'm going to because, like you said, she does, like, all the different Yeah, things she has to be better for me to I go buy makeup. I know which ones not right. to buy. Right, right. Yeah, she does. She has a really awesome channel. This is for your eyelashes to put it on. It's really easy to grab. Oh, okay. So I'll let you try this so that you can I'm nervous about the eyelash thing. Can we put them on you? Yes, because okay. I don't. So which ones do you want to try today? Let's do these. So my sister doesn't normally wear false eyelashes, and believe me, when I first started my channel, I didn't wear them either. So, I mean, that's, these are the ones I wear, these are new ones. So this is going to be new for her. Let's see how these are going to fit your eyes here. You have tiny little eyes. So um, this is a new experience for her when it comes to wearing eyelashes. Yeah, I don't do eyelashes. <laughs> I just, I don't know, I just, so you cut them. So what you're going to go ahead and do is just go ahead and um, use this. Oh my God, this is like the best. I have heard a lot about that eyelash curler. That's such a nice one. So um, go ahead and use the ashes and then go ahead and put your eyeshadow or your eye um, a little, just, I would do like one swipe, one to two swipes of the mascara. I'll do it now? After you, after oh. you curl, okay. you know? And then, um. But yeah, Karma was fighting with me because she knows I can't do this video with you. She goes, you better not use this, 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 and this. And I was like, they're your moms. <laughs> such <laughs> she a brat. Say yeah, she's such a brat. <laughs> so um, you don't, you're probably not allergic to any of the glues or anything like that. No. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna go right. Oh in my god, I love this. Right? Isn't that just? I got that on sale too. So um, during the holidays, Tarte actually had a sale too. And I think you were talking about this on your video about that. Yeah. That's it's nice. It's a nice. You know, it's so funny because you think, oh, I'm just going to just pick up whatever. It doesn't matter. It's, it's going to work. But then when you use something that, like, is high quality, yeah. and then you're just like, wow, where have I been at? You know, right? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell was I thinking all these years? You know what I mean? Yeah. So basically, you put the glue on the, eyes, the, the eyelashes, and I know most people already know this, but we're going to talk you through it. You let it sit for a little bit because you so want it to get tacky. tacky. Yes. And then you put it on. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let's see how we do this. I've so never, I have a question for you. You know how like everybody's getting those lip fillers and stuff. Is that something that you're looking into doing? I, you know, I've thought about. I've thought about a lot of things when it comes to like uh, doing. The lip fillers go away though. They do. I think they, uh, it depends because you, you, if you go to the wrong person, they can put the wrong kind of stuff in your lips, and it could be damaging to your lips. Mm -hmm. That's what really scares me. Yeah. Because we don't. Nobody goes your face. Yeah, oh. and it, it does change your face. Mm. If you notice, like some of like the really really pretty actors actresses that are out there, not that they're not pretty anymore, but you can really see a change in their face because they use Botox and stuff like that. Botox is what scares me. Yeah, and so like where I want to like try that kind of stuff, it really freaks me out. Yeah, because I don't want to look like that. I've seen a lot of the. Um, the makeup YouTubers are getting their lips done. Right. Yeah, yeah, and, they, and they're also, I'm missing. They're also, not only are they, um, do you want me to try it or do you want to try it? No, I'll let you do it. I'm okay. scared. Um, they're also, go ahead and look up and down. Just like straight look at me, there you go. Um, they're also getting like their eyebrows. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, I was looking into that. But they actually cut your eyebrows. They kind of like make them look like your eyebrows. It's like tattooed. Right. What is it called? Um, um, yeah, they're getting their... Uh, Amy had that done. She did? Yeah, she recently had it done. She like she, it? She really likes it. Um, but she... Looks because like, everybody did their eyebrows when, like back in the day, like so thin. Right. And, like, hey, we all knocked off our eyebrows. eyebrows. Back. Yeah, we were all idiots and decided to be chill out. Well, that was the not that being a chill out is an idiot, but you know we lived in that age, day and age where you didn't have. And you didn't know that your eyebrows weren't gonna grow back. Yeah, you just thought, ah, oh, I'm just, I'm not gonna have. I mean, you even some people even shaved off their eyebrows, and now we're yeah. like, oh, Desiree. Oh yeah. my God, she hates it so bad. You know, you're in your 40s, and now you want your eyebrows back, and they're like, and their eyebrows like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> you should never you know what I mean? Mean? But yeah, so it's just one of those things where, yeah, I wish I would have never done that. Which I mean. You live and you learn, but it sucks that we even did that to ourselves, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a huge difference when you wear them and you've never worn them before. And you're just like, ooh, look at that. Look at me. Right? They're like, fancy. <laughs> fancy, yeah. Yeah, but um, they're kind of heavy too. Do you yeah, like, a little bit. Yeah, a li yeah, and that's the thing that, like, again, me and my, like, I didn't want to feel like I'm confined. Right. <laughs> that's that's where I'm We're going. Sagittarius. And you can't confine us. At all. <laughs> At all. And, it's, and, and that's in every aspect of your life. Yeah. Like you did, mm -hmm. Even like if you were wearing a shirt and you're just like, 
Yeah, I can't wear things that like go yes, off of my neck because like, I feel like so it's choking me. Blankets that when I sleep, I have to uncover my feet. Yeah, I like, can't wear socks like, when I sleep yes. because of that. You know, yeah, you not want it to be confined. Yeah, of your life, like seriously, yeah. Sagittarius can't be confined. Yeah, at all. It's just weird. Yeah, we're crazy people. Yeah, that's why I love. That's why I'm good with Justin because he's a Libra, so he balances right. everything out. Right. So that's really really good. <laughs> what is Mitchell? He's a Capricorn. Oh, yeah. how does Capricorn and, and Sagittarius go uh, together? You know, they say like on the spectrum of things that we're like the opposite and we wouldn't, but we actually, me and him, I, you know, get along really, really is well. he on the line though from a Capricorn too? Yeah, he is. He's like right on the cusp, so he could be more, more, more of both. Oh, so, okay. But he's a true Capricorn. Is he? Yeah, he really is. Like, he's insane. Like, <laughs> you know, not that, okay, I'm not going to say the Capricorns are insane, but he's very, like, in his, you know, this is how it is. This is what I'm going to He's do. the kind of person, too, once he sets his mind to something, that's it. And he's that's not talking Capricorn, to you yeah. anymore, you're done. And he's really, like, um, <laughs> what is the word? He's really just, it is what it is. Like, yes. that's, I can't even explain yeah. it. Like, he's very focused on stuff. I don't yes. even know how to say it. He's just well, insane. yeah. Like when that one time when he did that weight loss thing, and I hadn't seen him for a while. I seen him at Walmart, and I was like, "Holy hell!" Yeah, his weight loss. I can't go on a diet with him. I couldn't either. I just, I'm just like, oh, I need a cheeseburger, and he's just like, no, it's gonna ruin it, and I'm not gonna eat it. And I just, I mean, not that he makes me feel bad about it, but I'm just like, no, you're, you're not doing it. I'm not gonna do I it. Yes, I can't have a cheeseburger. So weight loss with my husband is not fun. I think that, that one came off a little bit. Try to, you can kind of try to figure it, um, move it, it's still a little tacky if you want to, but yeah, my husband's, uh, he's a great guy, he is. He's wonderful. But he really treats me like I'm his little sister, he's such an ass to me all the time. Yeah. <laughs> he's like a fix on me 24 seven. And you are my older sister. Yeah, and but... everybody, but you guys all treat me like I'm the little sister, even Dustin said, he goes, why are you the spoiled one? And I was like, <laughs> my sister, he's like, even my sister, when it's all growing up, if somebody wanted to fight me, she's like, oh, hell no. <laughs> And that was, you know, oh my god, growing up, we thought we were like badass, didn't we? Oh, yeah, I was like, my thinking. sister, like, just really always took on the big sister role. And I she always still have. still does. Like, yeah. I still do. Yeah, I do. Growing up. That somebody hurt me and you're like, ah. like <laughs> no. How funny were we? Yeah, <laughs> to think that we were just like this, you know. Now, do you put mascara on these? Yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those ones are yours. You can keep them. Oh. So, um, yeah, you can put mascara I mean, on them. I would let them dry a little bit. Mascara, but. I did. I gave you the it. You put it on. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's kind of a mess up here now. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do scroll. I really oh, like them. I'm honestly. gonna use the same ones you're using because they look really pretty. I really like them. They do look really nice they on look you. They look really natural. That's the first time I've ever. Another thing. Have you ever thought about getting your eye eyelashes done? I have, but I've heard so many like you know stories. Yes, good and bad, and I'm just, I'm like. I, the, the bad always outweighs my yeah, feelings. Yeah, well, Desiree got hers done and she hated them. She right. said you can't use any oil based anything to take No, you can't. Up. And you can't use mascara either. That, that, that essentially, <laughs> like she said you'd wake up and I get her eyelashes and be like, oh. <laughs> like out of control. Her eyelashes hurt? <laughs> because you, like, you lay on your face right. and stuff sometimes. Right. And she goes, and you can't do anything to them. You can't put anything on them because right. they'll come off. Right, right. And she hated it. She hate, And then she said her other eyelashes were coming off with them as they were falling off. A lot off. of people say that. I think that it just depends on, you know, the person. Person, like how you take certain things you know how your body reacts to certain things yeah. so I mean like you can't just say like there's a lot of people that say that that breaks me out but it may not break somebody yeah, else out so yeah. it just depends and I'm the kind of person that like I'm not willing to take that to take that you know chance that it's we going have to really little eyelashes mm -hmm. anyways so I kind of yeah. want to keep the ones I have <laughs> yeah we do we have in our family we have really really like tiny little eyelashes which really sucks we get from dad cuz mom yeah. does no, mom has really nice eyelashes. Yeah. But I remember that, watching mom when I was a little girl just putting on her mascara and I was just like, because she enhanced like all the bottom ones and the top ones and I'm just like, what? I don't even have bottom ones. I eyelashes. do have them, but they're itty yeah. bitty. Like it's. All right, so my card got full. So I went ahead and, <laughs> and had to go ahead and download some of it because we've been talking forever. <laughs> so um, I went ahead and um, put on my lashes and I'm going to go ahead and throw some mascara on. My Me sister too. used the Better Than Sex mascara, right? Yes. And I'm just gonna use this one from um, Lamcomb. This actually came in my Sephora box. It's really nice. Oh, nice. I need to do the Sephora oh, box. Sephora box. I love Sephora box. I mean, their their items that you get in their boxes are kind of hit and miss depending on you know what what their theme is for the month. But I have like no complaints. Just like the Ipsy, I really like the Ipsy. Yeah, you know, I was kind of scared about Ipsy because 
people are kind of like, eh, this and that. But everything I've gotten, I love. Yeah, it is. If you really you're go, not getting like full products, but no. I mean, sometimes you don't use up a full product before uh -huh. you have to throw it away. So I'm really okay with just getting. Like, yeah, samples. plus it's exciting because you don't have to go shopping just to right. get like all these like things. But no, like when I looked up the reviews, people were like saying all kinds of mean things. But like if you really go and do your thing and like put what you want and what you don't like and stuff, they really do right. do it to your liking. Right, and there are other boxes out there like the Soap Spa that I tried out. If you really want to have a subscription box where you are getting what you want, uh -huh. then subscribe to something like Soap Spa, you know? That gets you, you like, really it. what you want? Yeah, you know, and if you're wanting to get like a surprise, and I'm okay with getting surprises. I like surprises. <laughs> I do too, it's like a big gift, like a birthday uh -huh. gift, or, you know? Um, so I really do like getting the both Ipsy and the... Um, with Sephora. I mean, I, and honestly, I can't really choose between them because I like them both for different reasons. Yeah. You know, I really do. I like them both for different reasons. So I can't choose from one or the other, to be quite honest. I, I, I would highly suggest both of them for anybody. Yeah. So. I think I'm going to try the other one too, though, because I, it's a spend. The Sephora? Yeah. You, Sephora, you get really, really high in I've products. noticed that. You know? Yeah. You get high in products. And I need, I need to, I just, I got my other Sephora box in, so I need to film that. Mm -hmm. um, but um, some of the stuff I got in my box this month is it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and go in with a lip liner. Me and this too. is from Essence. These Essence lip liners are amazing. You know, and they're like $2. Okay. So I'm going to use this color in um, Soft Berry. What I'm you using use? Satin Mauve. So, okay. I'm going to go with the lip liner. We're almost done. I was wondering if you're going to be so much faster than me and I was going to sit here doing makeup after you were done. Well, I think I learned from my last video to slow down. <laughs> yeah, because well, you do makeup every day. So, mm -hmm. like, to you, it's just, like, normal. I feel weird. I've been, like, I'm ready for the day today. <laughs> So what I do is I start with my lip liner up top and then I just go on the bottom and then I just kind of fill in my lips with it and then I'll put my lipstick on. Okay. And I've learned that actually makes your lipstick last a little bit longer. I'm starving. Are you? I eat a lot. I should have brought a snack. <laughs> Eating is actually, I mean, the more you eat, like if you eat little things throughout the day, it really does. Actually, too, that meditation, I have fun for weight loss. So, oh, do you? See, I need to go on a diet again. I just because yeah, it deals with your subconscious. Yeah. So like when you're like, we you only it's weird because what I'm we going in with the infallible lip paint in um, topaz or to, uh, topless. I really like this color. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. Um, this one is the same. The, the lip same. Paint. Yeah, and this one's called Nude Star. Anyways, back to what I was telling you, we only use twenty percent of our um, conscious, mm -hmm. whatever. But 80% is subconscious, so 80% of it is when you're sleeping. And stuff. Right. So well, that's a reason, a lot of the reason why meditation works so well. To help with weight loss? Helps with weight loss. It helps with the... Uh, we can help people to have like that... Like when they... What is that? P.S. Uh, uh, postpartum depression? The post-traumatic uh, stress. Right. They can help people with that. Um, people with um, addictions. Right. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. Okay, so yeah. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, it kind of tastes like Jello. Yeah, no way. <laughs> How funny. Isn't that really weird? Have you ever like all of a sudden if you pass somebody and you smell something and it takes you back to your childhood? Yeah. Or oh, like songs. Songs yeah. always do that to me. Songs bring me back to like a childhood. We Key South sweat brings me back yeah. to like when we were like young, young yeah, kids. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, but we were in, this last time we were in San Francisco. Somebody passed me and I'm like, I know that smell. What the right. heck? And this is like, what's wrong? And I was like. Ch like childhood just yeah. came back to me. Like memories um, and everything. One of the spray stuff that we used to put in our hair that dad used to get from the hair shows. From, um, uh, what was it? Was um, Redkin? Or Redkin. Joyco? Joyco. Yes. Joyco. Yes. Yeah, like, um, what like is that Like gravy smell? kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> How funny. Yes, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> it just took me back to childhood. Are you done? I'm done. Yeah. Me too. I think, I think that, like, I think it looks good. So I like the eyelashes. They don't feel heavy now. No, I'm kind I of don't. Like, you get used to them. When really you first quick. put them on, I was like, oh god, this is going to bug me. But it doesn't. And I'm not seeing them like when I tried to put this them on. This is the first time she's worn false eyelashes. No, the first time that I've worn them that I didn't just take them right back off. Oh, like, oh, so, so it's good. Yeah, because okay. I tried to put them on before, and I don't know if I got like a really heavy kind or something, right. but I just felt like my eyes were I was like, okay, this is too stupid. much. I'm not doing this. Too much, yeah. Yeah. This is wonderful. I think it's really pretty. And What do you think of this natural. foundation? I, I thought like, you would like, like it. Foundation. I you really do. like yeah, it. Yeah, it looks really nice on your skin. It doesn't too. make me feel dry. It right. doesn't feel like I have so, so much. I so I'm going to take this Mario stuff again and just spray my face one more time. Do you want to do the same? Mm -hmm. 
I just love that stuff. I'll just spend it. It smells so it. Oh, and I was like, I just want to smell like roses all day. Not that I, I like, and I, I, I don't like roses, but I like that. Yeah, the way that smells. So what do you think about the eyeshadow that you use today? The, I um, love it. I think it's really. So first time you've used makeup peak, right? Yes, mm -hmm. and I think like. I can see everything that I did, like all right. the colors. You can like, see them. They're not like they're yeah. there. Right, yeah. right. You know, like sometimes you do some and you're like, I can't even see that little pink that I turned. Right, down. but you, you can see. You can definitely see every color that you right. use, and I really like and the it. highlight. Do you like the highlight from makeup? Yes. yes. Yeah. Like, Good, I'm glad you liked it. I it. Yeah, <laughs> I do um, the uh, Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, and so I hope you guys can see. What I did, but I think that the, the palette oh, is just palette. yeah, it's just it's an amazing palette. The it purple really you did too, just kind of like. Right. I think they may have reformulated because I know from the first peach palette people didn't really like the purples in there, but I like the purples in them. You can really see them in yeah. this one. So they may have reformed, um, reformulated a little bit when they came out again yeah. with the palette. So I think it does a really good job. I love the highlights. Yeah. Yeah. That's just the that color really makes your eyes stand mm -hmm. out. I just had their color eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I guess we're done. Let me know what that you guys fun. think about this. Get ready with me, my sister. I like to do get ready with us. You know, with me because I think that it's just fun to just watch somebody. Put makeup on, sometimes. yeah, and just to see how they like do the different techniques and stuff like that. And then you know, it wasn't as scary as you thought it was, was it? No, I was so <laughs> nervous. I was like, oh my god, I don't really know what to say. <laughs> All right, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your thoughts are, and um, if you like this kind of style of video, and, and let me know what you think about my sister. I think she's great. I love her. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll talk to you later. Have a good afternoon. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> bye, bye.